Hey you guys, welcome back to my day. I have spent the last hour, since 11, almost two hours, like getting ready. I haven't actually gotten ready for a day for over a week and it felt good to shower and clean and wash my face and I shaved my face and did my makeup and it just felt good. I'm letting my hair air dry because I don't have a blow dryer. But I am more free this morning than I thought I was going to be. I was supposed to go help a friend move and kind of get packed up. She kind of has high anxiety and has asked for some help. And the anxiety kind of took over this morning and she just couldn't have anyone come over. So I, I now have a free morning. So I just took the time to get ready. I am going to Chelsea's third grade, what are they calling it? I don't even know, celebration or, it's not a graduation. We were talking this morning at the bus stop about how kids these days have a hard time. Oh, well, we feel like they have, I have, they're gonna have a hard time in life because everything is celebrated. Everything has an award, everything has, you know, a prize at the end of it and like there's kindergarten graduation and first grade graduation and third grade graduation it's like no <laughs> but since my day opened up I don't have to go help this friend move I'm gonna go and just go to Chelsea's class and Ashley likes to get out of class and come with me when I do this kind of stuff and then they get to come home with me and Ashley for whatever reason is obsessed with parent pickup because she normally has to take the bus so I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna go to Target after I pick him up from school because I need to convince Chelsea to get a new dress for this wedding that we're going to next month. Not that like we're in a wedding, we're just going to the reception together as a family, but um, I just need her to get a new dress. And she is not like a dress up kind of gal. So I can't just buy one myself and think that she's gonna wear it. That's how Ashley is. She'll just wear anything I buy her, but. So I want her to try some things on and then just get a few supplies from Target. And I'm supposed to go out with a girlfriend tonight. Um, she got a major promotion at work and is now a principal and I'm super excited for her. And we're gonna go out hopefully tonight. I'm a little worried because there's not enough people like saying they can go tonight, but I want a lot of people to go and kind of celebrate this accomplishment of hers. So. I might go tomorrow night, but I'm um, kind of making those plans. But in the meantime, from 11 till probably 1.30, I don't have anything to do. And I'm a little worried at the footage I got yesterday from our video. It, it kind of seems in my head it might have been a little bit combobulated, but that's kind of how my day was. So maybe I'll just leave it alone when I edit because <laughs> it just kind of... That's just life sometimes. The kids took forever to go to bed last night after we ended the video. Kaylee and I had, that's my oldest, she's 14 in case you are new, had a, like the most amazing conversation about the realities of being a teenager. And it's just amazing to me, the conversations that she's having to have with her friends and, and I just, it's crazy. But I, she has a hard time as a teenager being okay with me having rules and sleepovers and no sleepovers I mean and no you know late night texting with friends and FaceTimes with boys in the bedrooms with door closed and all these kinds of things and she fights back all the time as teenagers do. Sorry I'm just rambling. I don't know just kind of talking about what I'm thinking about I guess. You know we were talking about all these different things and sex and pornography and like things that I never thought I would be talking with with a four, 14 year old. Like, I, it's crazy to me. Um, but she's dealing with all this stuff with her friends, which is ridiculous. And she's stressed about it because she doesn't wanna be the person that is, she doesn't wanna feel responsible if they make a mistake and do something that they shouldn't do. She feels a responsibility to them. And I had a good conversation with her last night that she just has to be that good example. She can tell them all she wants that those aren't good choices. Let's go to a movie instead, or let's go for a walk instead of you going off with a boy or, you know, you can be the good example, but there's, it, the responsibility is off of your shoulders in terms of what choices they make. And that was hard for her to kind of accept. But it was also kind of a, an, a, 
awakening with her she kind of always brings up with this concept of not being able to have a sleepover why can't I have one and it's innocent and I I know the girl and she lives across the street and you know her parents and we trust them and, and they trust us and I have always said if I make an exception for one then that becomes the rule and I will eventually have to have an exception for every other person she asks to have a sleepover with the reality of it is no matter how much I can trust, you know, parents or the kid or that scenario or even having them in my home where I completely trust our scenario, right? Like, I trust my husband. I, there's no other boys in the home. There's no other scenario where anyone could get hurt, right? That's the, that's the worry with girls having sleepovers is that girls can get hurt. I know that I could trust my home. I could have one other girl come over and they could have a sleepover and they could trust us. But that girl could go home no matter how much we trust her, she could tell a lie to her parents and say that my husband hurt her. And when I was telling that to Kaylee last night, she's like, well, what do you mean? And I told her, if one of your friends or anyone were to lie and say that your father hurt them in any way, no matter if she comes back and says, oh, I'm just kidding, it didn't really happen, the police have to take it seriously because I would want the police to take my daughter seriously if she were to say the same thing. Right? Like we would want them to take her seriously if she came home and said that a boy or a man or someone hurt her. And we would have to take that seriously. And and the reverse is true as well. The police would have to take, you know, any kind of accusation seriously. And I told her if that were to happen, our father could go to jail. And I am not willing as a parent to risk that for one night of a sleepover. I've had three friends from high school alone tell me in the past three years, I think I've had this conversation before with you guys, come out and say that they were abused at sleepovers. Some by family members, some by friends of the brothers that were there. Like, I'm not willing to risk it. And it was a good eye-opening. I think she just was old enough to understand the concept of what that accusation looked like, right? And she finally got it and um, stopped asking, finally, and trusted that, like, I'm just trying to help my kids and, and keep them safe. I have no idea why I'm going this route with this video. It just was a two-hour conversation that I had with her, and, oh gosh, when you get these moments with your kids, you guys, it's, like, miraculous. It's like she asked. For the conversation instead of me forcing the conversation on her she found the quiet time and the quiet space to have this private conversation it's like the world you know all the stars aligned for this conversation and i was super grateful that she was open to having this conversation whether it was hard on her or not she was open to having the conversation and i think as parents we have a hard time one saying no to our kids and two we want to be their friend and that's not our job our job is not to be their friend our job is to be their parent and be there for them and console them and care for them but our job is to be their parent and to teach them right from wrong no matter what your standards are as a parent or your religious beliefs or whatnot our job as a parent is to teach these children and I told her when you are 18 and you move out of this house you no longer have to turn in your phone and have me check it at night but until that day it's my job to do that and you will hand in your phone and you will have no sleepovers and I will come and get you from late nights and have you come home and like you will check in at six o'clock for dinner. Like it's my job to do that as a parent and we don't need to be scared of having these conversations. I have wasted 10 minutes of you guys this time. I hope you, I don't know, you can get this if you want. If you've already gotten to this point, way to go. So anyway, I am going to let my hair air dry. I'm going to open up the window. It is probably 60 something degrees outside. We still don't have a summer weather. No hope of that till next week, but I'm gonna work on the computer for just a little bit and then we will go and get the girls from school, kind of continue on our day there. If I leave early, I might run up to Marshall's. I need some new mascara. If you haven't noticed, I don't put mascara on the bottom of my lashes. I always wonder if I'm like allergic to mascaras. I know I am to like the Maybelline, that pink and green one. I am like deathly allergic to that one. But I'm wondering if I need to like kind of look into getting a better mascara because like my eyes water and go crazy when I put mascara on. So I've been stopping putting it on the bottom lashes. So I look kind of dead. I only put it on the top. But so I might run up to Marshall's because it's cheaper to get mascara at Mar Marshall's than it is at Target. I am rambling. Anyway, on with our day. All right, so I got my hair done. Feels good to have it done and not all in a straggly bun. And I'm gonna head up to Marshall's really quick. Anyway, that is what I'm gonna do. So he's enjoying it. So 
I made it to the kids' school. I've got to run in really quick. I just want to show you a few things that I got at Marshall's that I kind of, it was kind of a surprise to find. I got makeup wipes. They were selling like individual packs of these for $3.99 each and I found a double pack for $3.99. And then you saw this dress that I found for Chelsea for $7.99. And then this cute, this one won't be for the wedding, but I mean, I couldn't pass it up. Just, it was seriously so cute. Little romper, jeans. She loves rompers and she's growing out of her Hawaiian one. So for $5, I thought that was kind of fun. Mascara, it's just like, it's super cheap. $2.99, more of my razors to shave my face with. And then I got this skirt, but I ran out of time to try it on. I've been looking for like these elastic waist skirts. It has a drawstring on it. I just want something loose and, you know, kind of fun print. And then the bottom has just a little design on it. Wear white t-shirt, blue t-shirt kind of thing with it. Just something more casual if I wanted to like, you know, just be cool during the summer or going out to a nice dinner, but I didn't want to be like fancy, you know, but more comfortable than like a jean skirt or even like a dress or something. Mm -hmm. um, that is my phone telling me I am late to her class. So let's run in and go to Chelsea's little third grade graduation. Look who I found. school actually they just let him go because school's over right yeah okay Chelsea do you want to see the dress that I got you yeah. it's right there sure. <laughs> it's not fancy it's so, cute. It's so cute do you like it yeah you think you'll wear it yeah is it soft yes my this turn is, this is actually basically oh you want to see yours Ashley wait what I got Ashley one it's a romper <gasps> Let me see it. Hey, Chelsea, it's hers. I know, Hi. but I'm looking at it. She'll hold it up so you can see it, Ash. Uh, Aww. This is so cute. You like it? It is. Yeah, it's really cute, huh? Oh, don't squeeze your pants under it. Okay, so we're going to run into Target. And did we tell, I don't think we've told our idea to the video. Tell yeah. our friends. It's a secret. It's a secret, and yeah. we can tell them because Daddy won't find out until after it happens, right? Yeah. But doesn't he watch your channel? Yeah, but he won't find out till after. So after you because I was sick all day on Father's Day, I decided I wanted to kind of make that up to him. So we're gonna go into Target right now, and we're gonna get a few things to kind of just give him for Father's Day. We don't want to go overboard just because we're, you know. Giving him a you know. he So you just put that on. <laughs> this is cute. So you like it? Yeah. It's just hard to stand up in here. Yeah. So it's basically just got the normal stuff. Yes, I got my shirt underneath. Yeah. That's why they have fun. Right? I know. It looks kind of funny, but it'll look cute when it's just plain, right? Yeah. And then you can wear your cute little boots with it. Yep. Mm. All right. That's good. All right. Let's go into Target. Do your push ups. All right, so we're just gonna show you this stuff here because it's nothing special. So we got some stuff for breakfast, right? Chelsea? Yeah. So we got my favorite food, bacon. Daddy likes bacon too, because yeah. this is for daddy. And orange juice. Yes, and we also got 
got root, some root beers for daddy. And we also got um, this ginger ale and some Sprite. To make Italian sodas. Yes. We still have the milk. Don't want to waste the milk. And then just regular, yeah, this like is it. just regular groceries. So, and then the only, only other thing that we got for daddy was his favorite kind of M&M. We had to get family size since bit, um, Daddy did size. not need the party size. Okay, is that a good amount for Father's Day? No. Okay. Look who's home early. Yeah. Oh, you got a ball. Don't fall, please. Yeah, don't she sits there all the time, honey. She's not gonna fall off of it. Welcome home. Hey. I'm you, tired. I know. I gotta go back to work today. I didn't get to leave early because one of the ladies that works for me had a real like emergency with her husband. So yeah. I, well, I was like, go, go, go. Yeah. So he stayed at work. He left a little bit early, but. Yeah. The other lady helped cover. So. Yeah. Are you having a soda already? Yeah. Darn too. <laughs> okay. It's not even dinner time. Well, it's dinner time now, but I'm obviously not making dinner. All right, so our date tonight is going to get a red box. Nice. <laughs> My plans canceled for a girls' night out. We really wanted to go and celebrate my friend and this huge promotion that she got, and literally there was only two people that could go, and I knew that that was a risk when I started the process of trying to get a group of people to go out. It's just a really busy time. Either people are still doing their last, like, back to, or, you know, end of school programs and, you know, different things like that. But it's also technically supposed to be the end of school according to our non-snow days. So a lot of people already had vacations planned before they knew we were going to have this extra week and a half of school. And that would so. Suck. Yeah, and so a lot of people are actually on vacation. Like, I had two friends that are like, we're leaving. We're going on vacation this weekend. And so, you know, tried our best to kind of make it work. We're going to try and go out with them as a couple. We went with, out with them last weekend. Is that who? Was that last was weekend? Was that the weekend before? Anyway. Um, but we're going to try and go out with them to a Brazilian steakhouse where they cut the meat right off the to, stick. Uh... I've never gone. I've never been to one either, so it'd be fun to film. Yeah. We totally so we're film. trying to go to that. She's buying a Groupon to go to that. Um, but you have to buy the Groupon like 24 hours in advance. So we're trying to buy it tonight to be able to go tomorrow night. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. Um, so anyway, now we dropped off Abby to go babysit. And Kaylee is off playing and having dinner at her friend's house. Chelsea and Ashley at their, are at their friend's house. So it's like, well... We'll go out. Might as well go rent a movie. I don't know. I wish we could actually go out, but since we're going out tonight, tomorrow night, you know, there's no point in doing it again tonight. So I missed it, our Costco trip. I know. I had to do it alone. I walked up and down like a lot of the different aisles because I just wanted to see what there was, and I had a lot of time. Why well, should I open the fridge? I'm like, oh, there's stuff in it. Yeah. Oh. I did my no. job. <laughs> no, I just meant like you should go with you. I know. But here seeing it there without me going is, you know. It's a little weird. You like being it's with me. Unusual, and Costco. Anyway, we're going to go get a red box. Hey, you guys. So I forgot to end last night's video. I just, this isn't always so natural for us. So I just continued with my day and I realized this morning that I didn't end it last night. So. We will wrap things up, and today we are getting ready to go on a mommy-daughter date, right Ashley? With my friend um, who I did the wedding for. So we will end this and you can come back tomorrow and see what we do on Saturday. We had plans to do beach and start summer and that kind of stuff, but it's not even 60 degrees outside, threatening rain, and it's not gonna happen. So. Come back tomorrow and find out what we make do and find out what we do on our not so summery day. So take care you guys.